find that girl from being come here. They say you can't find her. Which girl not says me that she don't carry great bunch of us, I carry pepper and come out. That girl has a snake. I move my own, I cry small, move this side. I may even flow for discussion and say, like, hours later. This one is just change, shower. You're very cool. Meanwhile, he don't be gossip. So there's this saying that goes that nothing is free in Freetown. Guys, I saw that play out in a way in the head of house lounge last night after the Aquafina task. Mercy and her BFFs, with the exception, of course, of um, Dewey, had a lengthy conversation about so many things. They talked about um, awards that have been given to strange people. Angel could not get over the fact that um, Pere had actually awarded Cece instead of Alex. Because according to her, oh, Pere had been flirting, you know, for the past how many weeks with Alex, you know, and had been at loggerheads with Cece. And then all of a sudden, he's giving um, Cece an award. And I'm like, Angel, if you had not spent all your days in that house, sleeping and living beneath your duvet, you would have seen clearly with your own two eyes that Pere and Cece are now back as best of friends, whilst Pere and Alex have been at loggerheads. Yes. So, Angel, rest. <laughs> now, aside all of the tantrums that Angel was throwing, fraud especially, fraud was so bitter and angry at the fact that they had given doing their pardon instead of Ilebae. Fraud was so upset and there was a way he described the whole situation, talking about, oh, me, when people gave me pardon last week, I cried, I melted down, I was sober for a while, I did not even talk too much the next few days because I wanted to show that I am humble. But look at this one, they gave her pardon. After one minute of getting all excited, the next minute she's flying up and down. She's all over the place. And I'm like, I'm lost. I don't understand. <laughs> In Bella's voice. I don't understand. Like, if people come together and pardon you, what, I don't, I don't get, what do they expect you to do? Like, you should put on black, like a black cloak and start mourning. You know, be humble. Be sober. I don't understand. Are you a drunk? Are you an alcoholic that they, they want you to stay sober? Like, guys, I listened to fraud talk and it now dawned on me that, oh, so all of those tears that you shared last week, Monday, after you were pardoned, after you were given immunity by the house, it was just an act. It was just an act, a ploy for you to prove how indebted you were to those people. Just a ploy, you know, for you to, to show them, oh my God, I feel, I feel so honored. <laughs> Like, these housemates are not going to kill me. Everybody's just so freaking dramatic in that house. Guys, fraud was going on and on. He was really angry. And guess what? Fraud was not the only person that was upset. There was also Soma. Soma was not just angry. Soma was bitter. And he said a lot. So on this video, in fact, I know that we've already started the video. I've even forgotten to do my intro. You know what? I'm going to do a brief intro. And then we're going to get into the rest of the details, all right? So first off, you are all welcome. You already know me. My name is Gloria Elijah. What I'm going to tell you right now is, please, if you're yet to subscribe, please subscribe. Um, like this video. Share this video. Oh, most importantly, let me calm down and tell you about this one. Today, by 7 p.m. WAT, we're going to be having our live stream. So please make sure you come through. Do not miss out. There's a lot to talk about. There's a whole lot to talk about all right so please join us join us for a robust conversation now all of that said let's continue with the rest of the gist as i was saying these people were just really offended about the fact that doing was living her normal life in that house for them they expected her to be humble to be sort of subdued to be so bad you know to really prove that she deserved the, the, the immunity they granted her to really prove that she appreciated it. Even me saying itself, guys, it's not, it's not even making sense in my, my mouth. It's only, uh, anyways, let's continue. Also complaining that um, she was 
taking things from the head of house kitchen to go give to her friends that oh she packed um, grounded pepper to go give to Cece because Cece likes spicy food and then um, she also um, took um, a bunch of grapes from the kitchen from the fridge and went to go and eat it together with Ilibaye and guys that is actually against Biggie's rules because Big Brother always warns the head of house and his um, his or our BFFs you know that it was against the rules of the house for them to share the luxury of the space upstairs with the people downstairs so i could really understand why they were upset but it was the fact that they took more time to emphasize on you know their regrets at having granted doing immunity for the week you know they said that oh she kind of manipulated i'm like how did she manipulate you people again she wanted the head of house um title she did not get it so she allowed mercy to win it mercy won it and Mercy picked her as a BFF as a reward for sticking to their alliance. And then the, pardon me, whatever, it was also part of the agreement. So what are you people talking about? And guys, the fact that fraud kept on dragging the issue, dragging the issue, I was really upset. Angel as well was dragging the issue, guys. Guys, I was just really disappointed because I'm like, fraud, it's not like there's anything special you're doing in that house for anybody. But you used emotional blackmail to get at Angel, who rallied around for you to get you that immunity. You told these people that, oh, your wife was going to deliver a baby that week. That was last week. And they all had pity on you. And so instead of them kicking your ass home to go and meet your wife and stay with your newborn, which is your first child, they decided to give you another opportunity, you know, for another week in the house. So why are you acting so entitled, guys? It was just so annoying, you know, listening to fraud going on and on. And as I said, fraud wasn't the only person that actually had a lot to say. Soma, of all people, had a lot to say. Guys, Soma was so bitter. Soma was so angry. He kept on nagging and ranting and nagging and ranting to Angel in the garden. And I do not even blame him entirely because Angel kept on talking about it, dragging it, talking about it, talking about it. And she was making it look like she did not have a choice. I'm like, Angel, no, you were the one that was rallying people as well, just like you did for fraud. So you betrayed Soma. Why are you acting like it's all Doin's fault? So that was exactly what Angel was doing. She was literally pushing all the blame to Doin, making it look like, oh, maybe Doin had her on a chokehold and said, oh, if you don't grant me immunity, you're going to die. I'm like, Angel, you're too strong-willed for that. And Soma was so upset. The girl was so like, I'm so pissed. I'm so effing pissed. I'm so effing pissed. This is just annoying me. I don't even like the girl. I don't even like the girl. I don't even like talking to her. The first time I talked to her, I'm like, oh, wow. Soma, I like you a lot. But that is so selfish of you, Soma. Very selfish of you. In the second week, the first time ever that the Pardon Me Please process was introduced this season, Nobody thought about anything else other than saving your ass because nobody wanted you to go home impromptu. Nobody wanted you to leave early, just like you did in your season. So, bro, why are you sounding so entitled? Like, that, that immunity has your name written on it and it said that, oh, uh, it has to be given to Soma. If not Soma, nobody else. Guys, that was so annoying. I'm just looking for a more civilized word right now, but Suma really pissed me off last night because I'm like, no, this guy, that is you sounding so selfish and entitled. And you know, it was the same thing he did with the Paris faction when they were trying to buy his, you know, alliance. Um, and the guy was talking about, oh, he wants to be head of house because he wants immunity. Like he was making it look like he was the only person that was deserving of that immunity. And I'm like, no, Suma you are totally you know making yourself a target at this point also giving angel the impression that you're a selfish person because he wasn't even thinking about angel at that point in time he wasn't even thinking because it was like eh, to now make it look like he was not being too petty about it he doesn't say he would have preferred if he lived by he had the immunity other than doing but guys it was very obvious that he wanted it for himself and i was just really disappointed i was really disappointed and i get it it's a game he has every right to feel the way he feels but dude the house did not owe you anything before they decided to you know pardon you give you immunity and now they decided to pardon other people and you are angry about it seriously anyways guys let me know how you feel about that situation you know frauds annoying rants and so much bitter um ventings. just go ahead let me know in the comment section below i'll see you guys on another video soon have an amazing day bye